My name is Emma Wilson, and this summer I was given the opportunity to go to Guatemala as part of a study abroad experience for my electronic media and broadcasting major. And when we went down, we were planning on filming about four or five different mini documentaries, and I really wanted to find this rare exotic bird from this area called the Quetzal. Everyone told me that it was going to be really hard to find, but I didn't listen to them because I was going to be the one to find this bird. When we got to Guatemala, we were going to be staying at this place called the Los Andes Nature Reserve. And this very lovely lady named Olga, along with a man who worked there to make sure that the forest was maintained properly, named Chus, they were going to show us around on all of these trails um, that we were going to be looking for the bird the day before we actually went out. So we went out as our entire class group, plus Olga, plus Chus, and we just like scoped everything out and we tried to figure out what we were gonna be doing the next day. And originally, I thought that we were just gonna like plant it in one spot, set up our cameras, and just constantly be like scanning the treetops and staying dead silent the entire time. We get back from this little nature hike and Olga informs us that we're actually going to be taking up a group of children from the local school with us to help us find the bird so that they can learn about, you know, more nature and things like that. And I was a little upset by that because, you know, kids are loud and, you know, they, they don't want to focus on bird hunting for like hours on end. So it comes to like 6 a.m. on the day we're going to go out for our hike and all of the kids are out there bright and early, loud and smiling. We get up to our first little clearing where we're going to set up our cameras and start looking for different animals and the kids are like running around and goofing off like kids would do and I was still thinking it was just gonna be a wasted three hours. We weren't gonna get anything. They were gonna be loud and scaring everything away. We were just gonna be getting footage of a bunch of, a bunch of kids running around in a forest. We weren't expecting to get much out of this. No tirar basura, no quemar basura, ni tirar agua, no, eh, basura no se sabe. No contaminar el agua, y no, ni los ríos, y no vol golpear los animales. We absolutely were not expecting that. They turned out to be so interested in everything we were doing, everything that Chus was telling them. They had their little like guidebooks out and they were like looking at different birds and when they would spot something, they would run over to choose and be like, what was this? And he'd flip through and show them. And they were fascinated with the binoculars that some of us had brought out and they kept running back to, to use them. So we were obsessed with these kids by the time they had to leave. We didn't want them to leave because they were just making it so much more enjoyable for us. They were pointing everything out, but staying quiet. And they just added so much to that, that trip up there. So my original heroic plan to go down there and find this Quetzal and get amazing footage of it didn't really work out, but I got to experience something that I wasn't expecting, and it was amazing. I got to see this, this group of children be so invested in the nature that they were surrounded by and the animals that they were surrounded by and just see how, how much they, they care. And then when we got down from the, the hike, we saw that they were responsible for many different aspects in the community. They take care of gardens, they take care of like chickens that they have there. They are like integral parts of this community. And it was just mind blowing to see how invested they were and how much they cared without putting up a fight. Now I know not everyone has the opportunity to go on these like big study abroad experiences and have all these eye opening things happen to them, but that's hopefully what I'm here for. I'm able to, to share what I saw. And even if you don't get to go on some kind of trip like this, hopefully seeing something of this nature allows you to, to be able to stop and think about it too. Be able to think, hey, how could I maybe make some changes in my life to be a little more 
self-conscious about what I'm doing with the environment, with the things around me. How could we maybe help younger generations grow up to, to care as much as I saw these children down there care. So if anything, I hope that, that that's a takeaway that, that some people would be able to get from this, is what, what would I be able to do to, to maybe just help make a little, a little bit of change out there. Thank you.